Hi friends, got another package in the mail today. I think this one is from one of my favorite camera companies, Acaso. Let's see what we got. Ah, it's the new Brave 7LE. This is a small action camera. The Brave 7LE from Acaso. Dual color screens and an IPX7 waterproof action camera. Splash proof remote. Capture the moment with one click. 4K action camera. Acaso, go beyond. Trusted by our global community of 10 million. Get an action camera, a waterproof case, a remote control, a battery charger, a battery, a mount, a helmet mount, handlebar mount, a zip tie, a strap, a USB cable, and a quick start guide. And there's a United States toll-free number for customer service. Download the Acaso Go app for ready-to-share moments and claim your points for exclusive gifts. Oh, speaking of gifts, I got this little card here. Uh, follow the directions, post on Instagram, and claim your free foldable backpack. Also in the box, uh, the packing uh -huh. box, was a memory card. Well... Let's open it up and see what all those things look like. Got it unpacked. Got the two batteries with the charger and the USB cable that makes it work. Got all of these various mounts. Looks like you could mount it just about anywhere. Got a bicycle handle mount. Um, different mounts here. This is a tripod mount, including this one. It's got the sticky thing on the back, so you could stick it on your helmet or stick it on your car. Or you could just use this Velcro strap here. Strap goes through there, and you could stick it on your dog. And if you do stick it on your dog, you're going to need this remote, because you can't always be right by your dog. And it's got little straps to mount the remote on your wrist. And the remote will take either a still picture or start and stop the video. Got the waterproof case in case you're a scuba diver and you go really, really deep. I'm not going to be testing that for you. I'm not a scuba diver, but it can also protect the camera in rough use conditions. And it'll also keep the dust out. The camera is rated for IPX7. And the 7 means that this camera by itself without the waterproof case is good to one meter deep in the water for up to 30 minutes. I know that because... I didn't know what it meant, and I looked it up. The, oh, the camera's got, uh, I showed you this little tripod mount. It's got a s screw hole in the bottom of the camera so that you can mount your tripod, mount it on your tripod, or mount it uh, to a selfie stick. Uh, we'll talk about some of the features of the camera in a while, but uh, I think what I really want to do is mounted on my tricycle and go take some pictures. See what 4K looks like. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I'm shooting this on the way out to mount it on my tricycle. This is the forward facing view screen. I've got it mounted on my selfie stick. Gonna go over here and mount it on my tricycle. Well, you can see that I have put the handlebar mount there. And now I'm gonna put the camera on there. Got it mounted and I've adjusted it so that you're just going to see the basket on my tricycle as we go for a ride. And that's going to be my test of the stabilization. I'm shooting this also as I edit with the Acaso Brave 7LE. And I'm interjecting here to tell you that in this next segment, as I go down the hill, I'm hitting about 20 miles an hour on my tricycle, and you start to hear wind noise. 
It does pick up wind noise, but I was surprised to learn that this camera accepts an external mic. And so you could put the dead cat wind muff on it. Uh, I ordered one of those off of Amazon and it's $12.99. I'll put a link down below for that too. The purpose of this uh, segment is to show you that as the tricycle basket bounces, the camera's hooked to that solidly. So you're seeing what the camera is actually doing. And if you look beyond the basket, you see that the stabilization is pretty rock steady. I've got the wind reduction on. I've got the stabilization on. I'm sure you can see uh, as the basket on my tricycle bounces that the stabilization is doing what it needs to do. Beautiful view of the Santa Rita Mountains there with some snow on them this morning. Woo! It's frosty! That's my brakes. <laughs> I've taken the camera off of the tricycle. Tricycle's over there, never shoot into the sun. Picture of well, I've taken the camera off of the tricycle and I'm just hand holding it. A picture of the Santa Rita Mountains there. Probably can't see it, but there's the moon. Well, let's talk about what I like about this little. Acaso Brave 7 LE camera. By the way, I looked up uh, what LE means. I think it stands for limited edition. I don't know what's limited about it. It does a lot of stuff. I like the fact that it's got color screens on both the front and the back. I like the fact that it's a touch screen in the back and the menu uh, selections and selecting the menu items and going through the menu is very easy on the touch screen. I like that. I think that uh, it takes good pictures. The stabilization that we saw when I was riding the tricycle was good. I suppose if you're a professional photographer and you're used to spending thousands of dollars for your camera equipment, you could find faults with it. But that's not me. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm uh, a YouTube guy. I like to make some videos and post them on YouTube. Sometimes I make a file and send it to my kids to let them know what's going on. Sometimes I make a file about something I've seen or a person I've met that I like to keep uh, a record of it. That's what I do with a camera. And this little camera does all of those things very well. I can't wait to try out the external microphone that I've ordered for it, and uh, I'll be using this camera a lot. I downloaded the uh, instruction manual and um, user manual. That was very easy. I got it on uh, Adobe Premiere on my iPad. It's very complete. I also downloaded the Acaso Go uh, app from the App Store. It's also available for Android. And I was very surprised that uh, it was easy to start and it was easy to use and figure out how to do it because I'm an old guy. I'm not really, really great at this computer stuff. But it worked really easily. And I was surprised at how quickly the pictures were transferred from the camera to my iPad without um, taking the card out of the camera, which I used to have to do all the time with my other camera. Anyway, I like it. I'll be using it. By the way, Thanks I came back to tell you that I'll be uploading this in 4K. I don't normally edit and uh, post in 4K. I do 720 or 1080. And the reason I do that is because I often have limited internet at my home in Mexico or when I'm traveling in my RV. But I thought it was important to upload this in 4K, and uh, I'm even taking it in 4K on my iPhone 13 right now as I'm speaking to you. Uh, it, if you are watching this, and uh, you need to up your uh, viewing experience to 4K to get the full 
uh, quality of the video that you're watching. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, Google it. <laughs> on a on a on most smartphones, it's easy. Um, on a television, if they're you're watching it that way, uh, you'll have to figure it out yourself or buy a new TV to get 4K. Thanks for watching today. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.